A city council member in the state of Alabama called a black councilwoman a word that I'm not going to repeat. It is an anti black slur, it is a racist slur, and he did this like right before also going on a pretty awful rant about Muslims. He's just, anyway, his name is Tommy Bryant. Let's watch. I mean, I know I'm black. Do we have a house here? Yeah, here. Okay. Dewey, hey, yeah, yeah. Dewey, would, 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 would she please stand up? Oh. Uh, give you more context. This is from the Huffington Post. In uh, Alabama, really. Tommy Bryant uh, used the term when talking about a council member, uh, Veronica Freeman, who is black. Just before Bryant made the comment, a member of the public questioned him about his wife using the same slur on social media. That sounds like a lovely household. Uh, wow. But it, it sounded like he thought that was some sort of excuse, that he was just referencing it or something. Right. Uh, so, so admit. People are calling for his resignation, um, but he has defended himself, claiming that he simply used the term to repeat what he claims the mayor, who is black, said about the councilwoman. Mm -hmm. That's what his defense is. That's and but wait, but wait, that's not a defense at all. No, and <laughs> I, I I didn't get the sense watching that video that he was just simply like, look, I think that there's a difference between. And I wouldn't suggest anyone do this, right? But there is a difference between specifically quoting someone's disgusting racist comment and then mm. condemning it. That is not what happened here. Well, yeah, and and even if, look, some people might think that even then you shouldn't use it, which right. is a debate we can have. Um, what you seem to be describing is a very specific thing where even if that in the back of his mind is what he was doing, it was impossible that that's how anyone in the room would read it. The guy was standing up as everyone else was sitting down. He started to say his little line that he'd clearly thought about. He was cut off and then he started again. The gods provided an out for him, but he persevered. He pushed through so he could say that. Yeah, and and by the way, I think it's relevant um, to take a look at how the woman felt as he made that statement. Um, so Veronica Freeman, upon hearing him use that phrase house n-word. Uh, ran out of the room crying. And by the way, just moments prior to him making that statement, he went on this anti Muslim rant. Let's take a look at that, unfortunately. You're talking about embracing everybody, and everybody here said yes, we all agree to that, and, and that was great. I don't think you really understand what you were saying, what you were agreeing to. For example, uh, Ms. Bell claims that she is a Muslim. All right. But it's loose. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize for that. But, okay, but now let's say we have someone here as a Muslim. All right, and we uh, embrace the Muslim. If you know anything about the Muslim religion, if you're not Muslim, their religion says they need to kill you. Maybe he was just quoting Marjorie Green. <laughs> Everything's a quote, it's all good. Um, how many mass shootings have we had that were inspired by the hateful rhetoric coming from the right wing in this country? Yep. El Paso, Texas. Yeah. Guy walks into a Walmart, opens fire, kills dozens of people, and has this anti immigrant manifesto that was inspired by Donald Trump. Hmm. But Muslims are the problem, right? Muslims are the problem. Yeah, Candace Owens is going to be pissed because he's really dehumanizing Muslims with his lies about their, their faith. So she's going to do a rant about that. Um, he's, I mean, he's, what he is calling for, he's just very blunt there, is. Just discrimination against people he doesn't like. He's like, oh, you know, we're over here talking about how everybody deserves to be treated fairly. Uh, I don't like that, so I'm gonna spew a bunch of lies about Muslims, and then I'm gonna call my colleague an awful, awful, awful slur. And that was one day.
I mean, I don't know what else to say about this. This person no. it should not be in any position of power. I know it's, it's, a, it's a city council position, but that's still too powerful for someone who has these hateful views. It's yeah, it's it's not much, but it's enough to be a constant reminder that our country is filled with racist people and that the fact that those two things just happened does not in any way guarantee that the people who voted for him don't love him more now than they did when they voted. Yeah, and you know what? That is that is a problem. I mean, that kind of rhetoric unfortunately does attract a certain type of voter. Yep. And I mean, I used to be naive. I used to think that we lived in a country where that kind of stuff was political suicide. But no, we're we're in a much darker place now, and it's just depressing to see it. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.